In this video, we will use MultiSIM's transient analysis function to investigate the time domain response of a circuit. This is similar to what we would see with an oscilloscope. Our circuit will consist of an 820 ohm resistor, a 100 nanofarad capacitor, and a 390 ohm resistor. We'll use a voltage generator to drive the circuit. We'll set it to a sine wave at 1 kilohertz. We'll also set the amplitude to 1 volt peak. To start the simulation, go to the Simulate menu and select Transient. A settings window will open. On the Analysis Parameters tab, we can set the start and end times for the simulation. We'll delay the simulation start to skip over the Power Up Transient. This allows us to see the stabilized results. Set the start time to 1 millisecond and the end time to 3 milliseconds. On the Output tab, select the three node voltages, and then select Run. The graphing window opens. The voltages at the three measurement points are displayed. Double-clicking on the graph opens the Graph Properties page. We can change the attributes of the graph, including the color and width of the traces, vertical and horizontal axis setup, and other elements. To measure voltages and phase shifts, we'll use the measurement cursors. Select the Cursor's Toolbar button. By moving the cursor, we can determine the voltage at specific times. We can determine phase shifts by using both cursors. First, locate the input wave, then move the cursor to the positive zero crossing at 2 milliseconds. Now grab the other cursor. Move it so that it is at the positive zero crossing prior to 2 milliseconds of the smallest wave. The readout indicates a time differential of about 146 microseconds. In other words, the small waveform is leading the input waveform by 146 microseconds. To get the phase shift, divide this value by the period of the input and then multiply by 360 degrees. It works out to about 53 degrees. To see the differential voltage, we can add an expression in the transient settings window. The expression editor allows us to create expressions that will be plotted. The possibilities are extensive. Reopen the transient settings window.
In the Output tab, click Add Expression. To plot the voltage that appears from the input to the bottom of the capacitor, select the Input Node Voltage from the left-hand pane. Copy it down to the Expression Editor. Now select and copy the Subtract function. Finally, select and copy the bottom node voltage from the left-hand pane. Select OK and then select Run. A new curve has been added to the display. The new curve can be customized and also measured with the cursors. Don't forget, Graphs can be saved, opened, or printed through the file menu. And with that, we conclude our introduction to MultiSim's transient analysis function. Thanks for watching.